Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Investor Series. Today we are here to talk about mortgage insurance, what are the different types of mortgage insurance, and why homeowners should incorporate this in towards their financial planning. So let's check out this episode together. Wealth management and money installment at one point in the time to select the right country to buy. One KM. One KM. Let's first look into what actually is a mortgage insurance. A mortgage is simply defined as a home loan that you take up with either the bank or with HDB towards the purchase of your property. As for insurance, it is defined as a form of risk transferring and acts as a means of protection from financial loss. So when you put these two terms together, it basically acts as a safety net for your home loan financial obligations. What it does is it protects homeowners and their families against losing their home due to unforeseen circumstances, mainly death, terminal illness, and total permanent disability. So using an analogy, think of a mortgage insurance as an umbrella. When it is bright and sunny out there, there's no need for you to utilize it. Only when it rains, then this umbrella that you have with you comes in handy. Another example would be if someone who has a home loan obligation meets with an accident and becomes permanently disabled then she and the family members may face difficulty in servicing the mortgage repayments on top of other healthcare costs that they might potentially incur. This is where a mortgage insurance will come in to give an assurance that they will not lose the roof over their heads. There are two main types of mortgage insurance in Singapore and they are Home Protection Scheme, commonly known as HPS, and MRTA, which is Mortgage Reducing Term Assurance. The Home Protection Scheme or HPS is a compulsory mortgage insurance for HDB homeowners, especially when they have used their CPF funds to finance the purchase of their property. It is a reducing term insurance, meaning to say that the sum assured is reduced as time goes by and will stop eventually when the sum assured is reduced to zero. It protects CPF members and their families against losing their HDB flat in the event of death, terminal illness, or total and permanent disability. HPS coverage is up to age 65 or until the housing loans are paid up, whichever is earlier. The good thing about HPS is you will be able to use your funds in your CPF ordinary account to pay for the annual premiums. However, do note that HPS does not cover private residential properties, which include executive condo. So next up will be Mortgage Reducing Term Assurance known as MRTA. Now, if you have taken a bank loan for a private residential property instead, you will not be able to take up HPS. So what's available for private residential homeowners out there will be this. It is usually not compulsory for you to get any mortgage insurance either. But having said that, it is good to take it up, especially when home loans amount are pretty big and it is a long-term commitment. Plus, your family will not have to worry about getting the money needed to pay the monthly mortgage repayments as this will be taken care of by the MRTA. It is provided by insurance company and the mortgage loans that you took up with the banks, they will usually recommend you to get a mortgage insurance, which is underwritten by their preferred insurance partner. So as you can see from the graph, the sum assured is gradually reduced over time because you will be paying the monthly installment and will be in line with your outstanding loan amount, which get lesser as well. So at any point in time, should anything happen, the sum assured will kick in to ensure that your outstanding loan will be fully paid, thus reducing any potential financial burdens. For the premium wise, it is usually cheaper as compared to a term loan, which we will touch on very soon. Just one point to take note will be that the sum assured or the coverage amount cannot be higher than your approved loan amount since it is specifically designed to protect your outstanding loan. Last but not least, another option will be a term insurance. It is also commonly known as level term insurance as it provides a fixed coverage throughout the term of the policy. The sum assured is fixed and will also be paid in the event of death, terminal illness or total permanent disability. The good thing about term insurance are it is a standalone policy and do not need to be restricted by the amount of your bank loan. You can decide how long the tenant you want and the sum assured as well. This is usually beneficial for property homeowners who have the intention of changing their property in the future. 
So just to give you an illustration, today you have bought a private property and you have borrowed from the bank a mortgage loan of 500000 At the same time, you have also taken up a term insurance with coverage of 500000 Five years down the road, you have decided to upgrade to a bigger property. And this time you will need to borrow 800000 instead from the bank. Because you have an existing term insurance coverage of 500000 which is fixed throughout that policy term, that leaves you a gap of just an additional 300000 of insurance coverage that you will probably want to take up so as to ensure that the loan outstanding will be fully taken care of in the occurrence of any unexpected events. So, hope you have gained a better insight from this episode of Mortgage Insurance. Stay safe and we'll see you the next time.